Is there life outside Earth? Is a question we may answer within our lifetime, though we should remain skeptical about any claims surrounding extraterrestrial life. I wonder if, in fact, the human intellect is sufficient to actually decode the full operations of this universe in which we live. Scientists are eager to find proof of alien life, as they believe it's possible due to the vastness of the universe, similar planets, and the Drake equation. NASA's Bill Nelson and SETI both see high chances of discovering intelligent life in our Milky Way galaxy. However, the absence of evidence so far doesn't rule out its existence, making the question of extraterrestrial life a captivating topic for both scientists and the general public. In this episode, we'll discuss what if aliens make contact. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. The Milky Way, even with the technology we have today, it's believed that it would take less than a billion years to spread out and live all across our own galaxy, the Milky Way. So, if aliens with similar abilities to us started moving around our galaxy one billion years ago, we should have seen some signs that they exist by now. This idea is called the Fermi Paradox, which comes from a question asked by physicist Enrico Fermi. Where is everybody? One interesting explanation for the Fermi Paradox is about civilizations really wanting to take over and live on lots of planets. Imagine you land on a planet, build a home, and then your kids go to two more planets and so on. This strong desire to take over planets becomes a big part of your culture. But as planets become harder to find, this desire can lead to fights and wars between different groups wanting the same planets. This is a bit like what happened in Earth's history when countries like Spain, Portugal and England tried to take over new lands. It caused conflicts and eventually these big empires fell apart. This situation suggests that these kinds of conflicts might be a common thing for advanced civilizations, even without thinking about what aliens are like in their heads. Proxima Century B. Proxima Century B is a planet that's not too far from our own solar system, and scientists think it might be a good place for life. It goes around a small red star called Proxima Century, and it's at just the right distance from that star to have conditions similar to Earth. Because it's relatively close to Earth, we're excited about the idea of sending robots to explore it. But here's the catch. It would take a pretty long time, somewhere between 20 to 30 years, for a spacecraft to reach this planet and about four years for any messages from the spacecraft to reach us back on Earth. Right now, the best chance we have of meeting aliens is if they come to visit us. But until that happens, if it ever does, we can only make educated guesses about how alien life might form on other planets in the universe. Where are the aliens? The universe has a lot of stars, with the Milky Way having about 100 billion stars that are similar to our Sun. Because there are so many stars, it's likely that there are other beings like us somewhere in our galaxy or even in the whole universe. However, even though we have made great advances in technology, we still can't easily go to other stars. The fastest spaceship we have, NASA's Parker Solar Probe, is very fast but it would take almost 8,000 years to reach the closest star to our Sun, Proxima Centauri, at its speed. In comparison, light is incredibly fast and only takes about 4.2 years to get to Proxima Centauri. This shows how huge space is and how hard it is to travel across it. Traveling to other stars is a big challenge for the future. Our descendants will need to invent new ways to travel through space to make it possible. In the world of physics, there's a concept called a wormhole, which is like a tunnel that connects two faraway places in space and time. It's an exciting idea, but we don't have proof that it exists. This makes us wonder if either there aren't many intelligent aliens out there, or maybe they don't exist at all. Another possibility is that wormholes might be impossible to create. 
even with our best technology, life on Earth. By looking at the types of elements found abundantly in the universe, we can piece together the history of life on Earth. Hydrogen is the most common element, followed by helium, which, although not chemically active, is still widespread. After that, we have oxygen, carbon, and nitrogen. It's crucial to note that the earliest signs of life on Earth date back to around 3.8 billion years ago, while Earth itself formed roughly 4.5 to 4.6 billion years ago. For a long time, scientists used to subtract these two numbers and estimated that it took about 600 million years for life to develop. This might seem relatively quick, considering Earth's age of around 4.5 billion years. However, there's more to the story. In the early stages, Earth went through what we call a period of heavy bombardment. During this period, Earth was constantly bombarded by comets and asteroids from the young solar system. This intense bombardment occurred because Earth's gravity was strong in its region, causing it to attract material from space. This continuous bombardment heated up Earth's surface to extremely high temperatures, preventing the formation of complex molecules necessary for life. Under such harsh conditions, the molecular bonds would break apart as soon as they formed, making it impossible for life to emerge. So to understand how life began, we need to consider a time when this heavy bombardment had ended, which was about 4 billion years ago, not 4.6 billion years ago. After this period, Earth had a chance to cool down, allowing complex molecules to form. This marked the start of the development of biochemistry. From basic organic molecules to self-replicating life forms, it took Earth only between one and 200 million years, a relatively short time considering the challenging conditions of the early universe. If it took life on Earth about 200 million years to go from simple chemicals to living things that can make copies of themselves, and we consider how old the oldest galaxies are and how many stars there are in the universe, it makes sense to think that there might be a lot of alien life out there. However, smart life like ours might be very rare. The best explanation for why we haven't seen any signs of aliens even though there are so many stars and planets out there, is something called the Great Filter Hypothesis. This idea suggests that when life gets smart enough to explore space, it faces some really big challenges that might prevent it from going any further. This idea makes sense when we look at ourselves on Earth. We have the power to harm ourselves many times, and it seems like we might be close to a point where we could do something really bad to ourselves.